hi fans of high quality entertainment. Today, 10 Beatles facts you don't know. Well, some of you will. But uh, I've done these kind of videos in the past, and I, and I know there's always a fact or two that, that I read, and some people think it's like a joke or something, but these are actual facts on the Beatles. A couple of them I didn't even know about until I read up on it. And I am a Beatles expert. Right, Jinxie? I guess she's gone. <clears throat> so there's ten. Number one. They're not ranked or anything, it's just numbered, okay? There are more than 3,000 recorded versions of Paul McCartney's Yesterday. I think most Beatles fans know that one. Number two, the last song of their last concert at, on August 29th, 1966 at San Francisco's Candlestick Park was Hello Goodbye. At the end, number three, at the end of Strawberry Fields Forever, John Lennon appears to mumble something that sounds like I buried Paul which fueled a Paul is dead rumor. He is actually saying strawberry jam. And you can really, uh, really pick him, pick him out saying that on the anthology series that came out in the 90s. Number four. After George Harrison mentioned during an interview that he liked peanut butter, fans began to throw peanuts at the Beatles on stage. That would hurt. Why didn't he say he liked pizza and then they throw like pizza slices? <laughs> Number five. Among the people who sing backing vocals on All You Need Is Love are Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Marianne Faithful, Jane Asher, Mike McCartney, Patty Harrison, Eric Clapton, Elton John, and Keith Moon. Number six. The Beatles gave the Rolling Stones their very first hit single with their song, I'm Happy Just to Dance With You. Three more to go. I bet you're holding your breath, waiting, in anticipation. Or you're just bored right out of your mind. Number seven. Eric Clapton plays lead guitar on Savoy Truffle on the White Album. George and Eric first met in December 1964 during the Beatles' Christmas show in London, on which the Yardbirds, including Clapton, also appeared. Number eight. There are around 70 famous and not-so-famous people on the cover of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I'm not on the cover, though. Including Alistair Crowley, Mae West, Carl Jung, Edgar Allan Poe, Bob Adi oh, Dylan. <laughs> Thank you. Stuart Sutcliffe, Marilyn Monroe, Laurel and Hardy, Jim Morrison, and Albert Einstein. Two more to go. George Harrison took inspiration for his composition, something after he heard James Taylor's song, Dad's Behind the Shed Again, from his Apple album, which was being recorded at the same time as the White Album. And finally, Ringo Starr was only born with one foot, but had a successful foot grafted on operation when he was five years old. I didn't know that until, uh, I think, a couple of years ago. And look at the great drummer he is today. So that's it. Those are ten more Beatles facts I bet a lot of you did not even know about. And you call yourselves Beatles fans. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Remember to hit that subscribe button and like all of my videos on my channel. Thank you. Bye. Can't wait to read the comments. This is just a joke video.